guys welcome back to my channel so today's video as you guys can see by the title we are going shopping for some reptile supplies so I'm about to leave for my vacation to Florida in about two days and even though I am not fully prepared or ready I have been dying to go shopping for more reptile supplies for the turtle and the tortoise I've already started buying supplies for blues new enclosure which I'm really excited about I'm excited to build it and show it to you guys but you guys should be seeing that video probably whenever we get back from Florida because we haven't built it yet and for the past couple weeks I've been trying to get all of the stuff I need to set up blues enclosure and the one thing that I really don't have is like some decorations for the enclosure you know fake plants and things like like that so we are going to pick that up today but of course if I'm gonna go buy some fake plants and stuff for blue I of course want to get some for koa while I'm at it fake plants and decorations for enclosures for reptiles are really expensive at like PetSmart and Petco so I think we're gonna go to a couple hobby stores I was talking to my friend Emma and Tori and they suggested either Michaels or Hobby Lobby so I think I'm gonna go try there I used to have a live plant inside Koa's enclosure, but he of course killed it because he was trampling all over it and he loves to knock stuff over. So really he doesn't have a lot of like decorations in his tank, which of course he is thriving. He doesn't need any of that stuff, you know, it is just for looks, but I still want to put something in there just to make it look a little bit nicer for him since I'm going to be buying some for blue anyway. So I'm really excited. We're headed to the hobby store now. And then if the hobby store doesn't have what I'm looking for, we may end up stopping at a pet store because I really don't want to come home empty handed today. It if you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoy tagging along with me, feel free to subscribe down below. Okay, we're here. Okay, so here are some fake flowers. Now there's a couple flowers that I'm looking for specifically that I think would look really, really good in his enclosure. It doesn't look like they're on sale today, which really stinks, but that's okay. Here we are. These look really good. I really like some of these. I really like that, that's pretty. I rather like these, it's really pretty. These are kind of what I was looking for. We're gonna keep looking a little bit more. Yes, here are some vines. These are more of what I was looking for for Koa. This is perfect, I love this, oh my goodness. And I can actually cut some of this off and use it for the tortoise too. And this is only $4.75, it's on clearance, so that's amazing. I'm gonna go on and get Koa another plate. You can never have too many of those. You can never have too much terracotta whenever you have turtles and tortoises. I think I'm gonna get this too. These are so pretty too. Ooh, and there's tons of them to choose from. Oh my goodness. See, I'd be scared to get any of this cactus because he actually eats cactus. So I'm gonna try and get things that like I don't think would be appealing to him. I don't know, I really hope he doesn't try and eat any of this. If he does, I'm gonna have to take it out, but I'm still gonna try. Oh, these are so cute. I don't think I'm gonna risk it, but these are really cute though. There's just so many plants here, it's crazy. They're all so pretty. Oh my gosh. Hands down, favorite section in the store, the fairy stuff. Look how freaking cute all the fairy houses are. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's adorable. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. So cute. Uh, look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Look at these birds. It's ghost birds. We should get one. I think we're gonna get one. How freaking cute. Okay, so I just got in the car. Um, I got all of this stuff for $50 in Hobby Lobby. They were having crazy sales today. I am so happy. Four, three to four plants from PetSmart or Petco would be like $50 because they're anywhere from like 10 to $20 a piece. I got like four different vine plants that are massive. They actually probably need to be cut down because they're so big. But for getting four different vine plants, two plants that are like porcelain for blue in case he tries to eat these fake ones, I'm really worried that he's gonna try obviously I'm gonna watch him really closely but one thing that I've noticed about blue if anything is that he is pretty picky with taking a bite of things especially new things like you guys saw how hard it was for me to even get him to try the cactus pad he will not even eat cactus unless it is in the tiniest little pieces so I don't know if he's gonna try and eat these vines or not I'm gonna try one and then just see may put like a little sliver of one in there honestly and just see if he tries to nibble at it I know small pet shop on YouTube here she has a little Herman's tortoise and she has fake plants and hers and he doesn't try and eat them so I don't know I guess we will see 
but I'm so excited. I got all of this for like $50 and normally I don't really talk about pricing too much, but the fact that I got three full bags of stuff and it's all like fake plants, I'm so excited. Koa will not touch a fake plant because he doesn't even eat lettuce, like literally, come on. So I'm not worried about him trying to nibble at them at all. Also, I can put some of these in lemon and Bodie's enclosures as well, so I'm pretty excited about that. I did not get to get a wooden hide. Blue still really, really needs a wooden like half log that he can kind of go through. The way that we are building his tortoise table, he's going to have a hide built in, but I want to give him two options. So we are going to go and we are going to get one of those now. I guess we're going to have to go to the pet store and get that because honestly, like where else am I going to get a half log, right? Here we go again. Let's look at some of the fake stuff they have here. There's a little snail. Oh my gosh. That's adorable. Yikes. Oh my goodness. So cute. OMG. Okay. Adorable. This is so cute. What? I really want this actually. We're getting this. We need to look at the half logs. We need a half log. Kind of like this actually. That looks a bit low. Let's see if they have a taller one. Here we are. It's pretty wide. It's pretty tall. Ooh, I think this one's gonna work. That looks like a good one. I think that'll work perfect. I think he can fit under that good. Okay, we'll get that one and we're gonna get this. This little Venus flytrap that's so cute. Yeah, we're definitely getting that. Man, those water dishes are so expensive. What? Wow, all their bird cages are empty. So are their guinea pig cages. Everything's empty, whoa. Let's get Moo some whimsy chews. Let's get Moo a couple of these. Oh, goodness. All my animals are getting stuffed today. Oh my God, is this for real? This is literally trash. 0.25 gallon stackable studio. They aren't blocks. What on earth? This is insane. What? Wait, what? Please do not buy this. Oh my gosh. Done. Guys, look at this hermit crab enclosure. Oh my God. PetSmart. Yes. Did you watch my video? Because this is amazing. Look at that. They have moist eco earth and they have vegetables and pellets. Wow, I'm really impressed right now. You guys probably can't even really see. Look how nice that is. What? Okay, so I just got back in the car from PetSmart. It is so humid, I'm so ready to go home. But I got a few things in there I showed you guys. Um, I did get a half log for the hermit crabs too, and also blue, because I love half logs. I mean, they love to hide in them and sleep, so. So I decided to get another one for the hermit crabs. They used to have one a long time ago, and then I actually gave it to someone but I don't even know why. Anyway, I also had to get my own crickets. That was fun. They didn't have anyone over there manning the cricket booth, so I just got my own self some crickets. Hate crickets, so that was fun. Also, did you guys see their hermit crab enclosure? Oh my gosh, I was so impressed. They've upgraded their hermit crab enclosure. They weren't on sand or anything, and all of the shells were completely natural. Thank you, PetSmart. Did you watch my last video? Oh my goodness, I couldn't believe it. Now, this is not the same PetSmart that I went to before. I haven't been back to that one because I was really just disgusted by their hermit crab enclosure, but this PetSmart actually does really good by their hermit crabs, so good job, PetSmart. Okay, so we are heading home now. I know I've been rambling. Whenever I get home, I'm hoping to show you guys everything that I bought. I hope I can fit it in this video because I really did buy like a lot of stuff. I think I have five bags. So I'll show you guys whenever I get home. Okay, so we're back home. Magic. So here's everything that I bought. So the first thing that I got are some of these like vine plants. I think these are gonna be really good in the reptile enclosures. In fact, I could use these in Bodhi and Lemons enclosure too if I wanted. These were dirt cheap. I ended up getting two of this one. As you can see, they were $2.50 on clearance, which is a really good deal for these. So I did get two of those. Here's the other one. I also got two of these. These were full price. I think they were like $6.99 a piece, which is kind of expensive, but like whatever. This type of flower, whatever this is, is actually why I actually went looking for them because I really wanted to find one of these. So what I want to do is I'm going to out. That's poking me. So what I want to do is I want to cut this off like right here because his new tortoise table blues, um, this is for blue by the way, 
His new tortoise table is going to be about a foot tall, I think. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to take this and just like cut it short and then I can just stick it in the corner of his enclosure just to give it a little pop of color. It'd be kind of pretty, but I really want to put this in there and I'm hoping that he doesn't try and eat it. So wish me luck. I also got this because this is beautiful and so I'm, I would cut this short as well, like both of these and then just stick them in there. I don't know. I hope it works. I hope he doesn't try and eat it. If he does, then I just spent $12 on those. Okay, so these I'm actually really, really excited. Can you guys even see me? I'm dropping everything. What is happening? So these I'm actually really excited about. Look how huge these are. These are massive vines. I got these so cheap, $4.75 a piece. Hello, that's amazing. I bought two. In fact, I'll probably end up cutting these like, you know, one strip would like go a really long way because obviously I probably wouldn't put this entire thing in one enclosure because they're huge and I got two of these so I have enough plants to last me for a while and I can use these in the hermit crabs, I can use them for Bodhi, Koa, so on and so forth. I also got this for Blue's water dish. I'm going to try and use this. It's about a half inch thick which I think will work good because he can like lay in this since he's pretty small. We're gonna try that. Maybe he'll use it, maybe he won't. Otherwise, this will be like the third water dish I bought him that he won't get in, so we'll see. So in case Blue does try to nibble on the fake plants that I bought, I did get some of these type things. They're just little porcelain cactuses and stuff, but they're really heavy, so they'll set up good in there. Just to give a little bit of color pop and decoration, I think it's cute. I got this little porcelain toadstool to put in Blue's enclosure. I think it's so cute, especially if there's not going to be any plants in there. I think this will be adorable just to sit it in the corner. I'm sure he's going to like try and push it over and walk on it, but it won't hurt him. So I thought that was cute, so I decided to get that as well because it was 40% off. I mean, that's pretty good. I also got crickets for lemon. Very exciting, I know. The next thing I got is this adorable little Venus flytrap decoration. It's meant for fish tanks, but I think I'm going to try and put it in Blue's enclosure too. If I have enough room, obviously, and then if he does try and nibble on the plants, I can take this little part off, and then it's still this little Venus flytrap stand. It is so cute. I had to get that. It was like $4.99, which I mean. I did get the hermit crabs a little bitty half log. And then I did get Blue this really big half log as well. This is just like the one that Koa has. I think Blue is really going to enjoy this. His new enclosure is going to be four feet long, so there'll be plenty of room for all these decorations and then for him to be exploring and walking around, so I'm really excited about that. Honestly, because I got all this new stuff, a lot of it is going to be for the hermit crabs too, so I'm probably going to be doing like a new hermit crab tank setup because I did get them several things today. I just kind of want to do a revamp on like all my enclosures. So that's probably going to take me a minute because I do leave for Florida in two days. But I wanted to go on and get all this stuff because I like being prepared, you know? Yeah, so there's stuff all over my floor right now. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this shopping video for reptile supplies and haul. It was a lot of stuff and I have a lot of stuff to put in my enclosures. Okay, so that is it for this haul. I need to go clean up this floor because there is stuff everywhere. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe down below. Stay tuned on my channel in the coming weeks because I'm going to be redoing and setting up enclosures left and right with all of this stuff. I'm really excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Be kind. Bye.